You're listening to the Spiritual Highways Podcast with Leanne and Michelle. Hi, ma'am. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm well. Very do- We're doing very well. Um, glad you're back from Houston. Uh, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I, it was a great trip. It wasn't a... It was it was actually very nice because it was a lot of um a lot of work like I, I did several about five readings while I was there and um which were great and I met a lot of wonderful wonderful people um and I can't wait to tell you more about them um but it, that's going to have to be a separate show cuz especially to the ladies that I met there are really special and um I think that we need to do a highlight of their their life there. Um, so, Sophie and Val, y'all get ready because uh, we'll be contacting you. Interesting. Yes, very interesting women. But anyways, um, that was fun. And um, but I also got a lot of quiet time and to work on my yoga practice and do a lot of reading um, and just quiet time. So it was very nice. I, I went on a little hike and. So it was great. I enjoyed it very much. That's awesome. Yes, but I do feel like I haven't seen you in I know a long it's time. It's been a, like it feels like forever, but it's really it's only been like not I even know. a week. Yeah, right? but, but but a lifetime. Yes, it was a lifetime. <laughs> we I we both unfortunately missed our little book club. So I guess we. I know. So we can't talk about book club. But wait, we can talk about a book. They'll be happy. I'm still reading a book, ladies. Don't give up on me. Uh well. Uh, I read my book, The Alchemist, and well, it was wonderful. Since you didn't talk about it in book club, you can save it for next book club, I'm guessing. Yes. Unless well, you want to was, read another one. Oh, man. Can it just be like a yoga book? Yeah. <laughs> because, whatever you want. No, Remember, um, you could be whatever you want. It, that's true. That's true. Um, no, I read The Alchemist, and it was it was pretty fabulous. And so if you haven't read it, I would highly recommend it. It was... That's awesome. I, I thought it was great. So, um... Well, I was... Um, reading Braving the Wilderness, and I paused. That's the book that I recommended to you that yes. I had that, that I you never read, read. That you right. need to read. And I paused that book. Well, I thought it was about really braving the actual wilderness when oh, I got yeah, it. Oh, no, no, no. It's about and, the wilderness within. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was, like, down with braving the wilderness at the moment, you know, so. <laughs> You're such a dork. Yeah. Um but I paused, and I, my, a friend gave me a different book, and I'm like, oh, wait, no, I want to read that right now. And so I love the book. It really, really spoke to my heart, and um, it's called So You Don't Want to Go to Church Anymore. And I've struggled with that for a long time because I haven't found a place where I felt like I belonged. Like, I think there's places where you could fit in, but I never felt like belonged like not like I grew up in a church in in New Jersey and and I loved it so much and 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 nothing against any church here I just never got that same feeling that I got right as a child and I've but anyway so you know I just haven't been in a while and um, I might go here or there but nothing consistent and this was a story about a man who was a pastor of his church and his journey, and it was so wonderful and beautiful, and just a really great message about having a relationship with God, and it just spoke to me. So, I, he, he has a podcast, and so, you know, I'm new to the world of, there's a whole world out there. But you've really embraced the, that, like, you've joined forums, and you know, well, but, yeah, for for on the production side, but not really oh, as listener. a listener, you know. And so um, I found his podcast, and it was so. Um, the two episodes that I listened to, I'm now reading a book that he recommended on loving your kids on purpose. It's Wayne Jacobson. Um, he was he also was had a hand in the shack, the book, the shack. Oh, okay. That we talked that. about. We talked about it at the book club. But I know you haven't read it. No. But anyway, 
um, in the podcast, he says, you know, if you want to email me directly, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to email him directly. <gasps> you had a Dick Van Dyke moment. I did have a Dick Van Dyke moment. Except for the only thing is that you heard back from me. I guy. know he emailed me back, y'all. Wayne Jacobson emailed me back. It was so cool. He's so, like, just humble and kind and genuine. How cool. And I, like emailed him saying I can't believe you actually emailed me back and he was like he was surprised he's like I always find it surprising that people are surprised when I email them back and he goes but you know it's courtesy and I'm like well thank you for being courteous oh but it was just very nice like there was no you know you know nothing it was very generic just general friendly thank you for your work thank you you know for your book it meant a lot to me um and so it was just very general, but it was just very nice to hear back from him. Of course. And I do enjoy his podcast. It's called The God Journey, if anybody's interested in adding to their collection. Um, there were two episodes that he did with his daughter. Um, Am I Supposed to Change My Kids? And the other one was Fitting In versus Belonging. Hmm. And so they both spoke to me. And the fitting in belonging actually spoke about Into the Wilderness, Brene Brown's book. It's funny how things all it seemed to um, come full circle. Yeah. You know, like. Yeah. It was all like happening at the same all time. All the synchronicities. Yeah. So you know that you're reading exactly what you're supposed to. Right. And you're, you know, tapping in. And this is something that you've talked about forever ago, even when you came to my house over a year Years, ago yeah. to mix paint. You had this epiphany about, you know, um, not finding a comfortable place in, in church or finding a church that you were confident in. So yeah. I think this is great for you. I know. It was a night. It was peaceful. And, and I have, a, I know a few people that are kind of in the same boat. And, um, and so I've been able to give that, that book to them. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's just very, um, reassuring and and really the the premise of the book is um you know making church where you are Mm -hmm. like let be there every day yeah wherever you are let it and so but it's a really really good book and I recommend it everybody should read it even if you have a place where you belong I think it's a great book because it's a useful tool as a daily reminder yeah uh, to strengthen your relationship so anyway yes I had my dick van dyke moment he emailed me back. Oh, I'm so jealous. I know. We're waiting. I don't know if he's ever. Oh, that's okay. I've, I've let it go. I had my moment and, <laughs> you know, if he doesn't want to connect with me, then that's fine. It's fine. I will. Hopefully he will, you know, One day. post-mortemly, however you, how would you, what do you call that? Oh, wait, that's a, a little morbid. Well, maybe he will. I maybe, mean, maybe, you know. Is that day. too much to ask for? I mean, <laughs> I know that's horrible, but. Can we not go there yet? Okay. I'm not thinking that it's in the, any, you know, hopefully it'll be a very, very, think very. we're going to need to edit this part out. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Radio edit. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Dave. <laughs> oh. It goes back to me making you uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, you I'm never know what's to... coming out of your mouth. Like, yeah. ever. Yeah. Ever. Yep. Well, so uh, that is so awesome, Michelle. <laughs> that makes me very, very excited. It was sweet. For you. It was a sweet moment. Oh, I'm excited. Like, he emailed me back. I'm, yeah. I'm a little jealous, but I know. I'm okay. I hated like telling you. You didn't like, hate telling me. She that was the first thing she did whenever <laughs> I got home from Houston. She's like, "Oh my God, I had a Dick Van Dyke moment," and then he called me back. I'm like, "No, he didn't I mean, call excuse me. Excuse me, he emailed, he emailed me. me back." And I'm like, "You." I said, that's not nice. I didn't get my response. So, on a side note. I'm sorry. No. Okay, side note, side note. It's totally okay. I get it. But, so, Spirit, to, well, I have yes. come. Yes, this is kind of exciting. Well, not kind of. It's pretty exciting. So, I have um, guides. And I think I've talked about before, like, there's different departments. You know, like, when I'm given a reading, there's there's people that come through and they're like your people or, you know, the person I'm, my clients or, you know, the person I'm giving a reading to, it's their people. And then I have like my spirit guides and then there's like a divine, like general department. So there's all these departments, right? And I have all my guides and 
I know where they stand. One day I'm going to sink up and I, and, and I should just paint it. I just really should. But, um, everybody has like their section. It's kind of like stadium seating. Like, and when I'm looking up, like if you just kind of pick your hands up, it's, it's like right when you gaze up, yeah, a little bit yeah. higher than eye level. And I mean, they always like go the really from, good seats. Yeah. Like <laughs> to like, get, to get the view of everything. Not the floor. Yeah. Like, not the floor. Yeah. You're not on the floor. You don't have to deal with all the crap. But it's like right there, you got a perfect view. Well, and it always goes from left to right. Like, like that's how everybody sits, okay? So we've got this balcony, closed bal- balcony seating, right? And everybody has their little place. And I know them, and I know, like, I'm connected with not necessarily who they are, because I don't know, but, like, what department within their department. So like, like what their strengths are. Correct. So within my little, so within this, my spirit guide department, whose role is what? I've never really like tried to define and separate them, even though I knew that they were coming from separate entities. So Michelle, with the help of Michelle, she and I, um, she helped me because sometimes she just, she tells me the things that I really need to to know that I should already know that I do already know and sh- that, but she points it out and I'm like, Oh yeah, I should totally do that. So today she asked me, well, I mean, who are they? And I said, well, I don't, they're, they're them, you know, they're, they're just them. I, I mean, I have, I have more than four, but I have four main kind of characters. And she's like, well, what are their names? And you know, I don't know if it was spirit, spirit, my spirit guides, or me, but I'm like, here I have this very close relationship that I work with these people on a daily basis, or you know, these spirits on a on a daily basis, but I don't know their names. So, you know, after having (laughs) this epiphany moment of like, wow, it's like, it's like not knowing your grandparents' name, right? Like you should know this. And so, Michelle, <laughs> okay, I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to ask. Well, I guess what? I, I know their names. <laughs> and what's more interesting is that in a reading, I don't get names. Very, like, I have recently, actually. But it's few and very far between. It's not very it's not often. not the norm. It's really not. Yeah. For whatever reason... When I go to heaven, that is going to be like one of my number one questions that I can't get answered now. But why can't you just give me a name? Or like, why can you go from like having a whole full-fledged conversation to just giving me something very specific? So there's a lot of questions I'm still going to <laughs> I'm still going to ask. Guess. However, I'm happy to say that knowing the names of four of my spirit guides are no longer a question. So I am going to share with everybody their names. I'm very excited. But I've got Ralph, Peter, Mary, and John. So, welcome, guys. <laughs> I mean, they've been here the whole time. They've so. <laughs> totally been here the whole time. They're shaking their head at me, actually. It's funny. Um, But they each serve a different role for me. And now it was just, it's very interesting that, that I'm able to put a name to their aura or or I don't know their their presence and so that's very I know everybody might not be as excited about this as I am but um but it's like oh my gosh they've been here this whole time and I never asked I don't know but you know what now I can straight up call them by name yeah like you know I'm having trouble in yoga with your yoga yeah Yeah. you'd be like Mary hold my hips (laughs) (laughs) Ralph you've got the ankles ground me people (laughs) help me (laughs) I'm totally going to try that tonight in class. I'll let me know if it works. I will. I mean, if Mary's not strong enough to hold the hips, you may have to call in, you know, yeah. Peter or John. But... <laughs> Peter or John, we need reinforcement, quick. Uh, in my class. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're with you. You might as well talk to them. But, but you know, you're so right. I am. And, you know. I know I'm right. You don't you have to tell are. me I'm right. I love it. But you are. And it's, she does that so often to me. It's like. Stuff that I should totally know. It, it's it's just mind-blowing because it's like, why didn't I just think of that? And you're like, yeah, 
I, why didn't you think of that, you idiot? You know, I you know, never say that. Uh, under your breath, I bet you do. I have no, never <laughs> said that. No, but no. Not to your face, <laughs> ever. Yeah, well. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. I've never okay. said that. It's totally I okay. would never say No, because sometimes things are just so obvious you miss them. Yeah. But you know what? You can be, but you know what I told my sister this weekend? This is horrible. But I don't know whether I keep bringing it up because I brought it up to her, then my brother-in-law, and now I'm bringing it up here. Huh. I'm really starting to think maybe this is something I'm feeling guilty about because I kind of do, but then I kind of don't. So, like, I'm all about being really sometimes brutally honest. And sometimes I'm honest to, the, to a fault in the sense that I may hurt your feelings. Because, or I'm too much for some people because I just, I don't hold, I don't hold in the way I feel and I don't hold in my emotions very well. You don't well. always have a filter. This is true. Michelle constantly sits on, oh <laughs> my Michelle's God. waiting yeah. for something to I up. don't know what she's going to say. <laughs> How am so, I going to wrap a bow around this? Yes. <laughs> but she's really good at wrapping a bow around my, around my stuff. So thank God for her. But, um. But yeah, sometimes it can be too much, and sometimes I overshare my emotions, and then sometimes I'm just honest to a fault. So I was really having a moment with my sister the other night. We did her st- stupid Korean face mask that complete. I'm, I'm done with them. I'm done with Korean face masks, by the way. They're Every all t- made in Korea. Yeah, but they all break my face out. It's like I go uh... from like, oh, this is fun, to oh my God. It what what's it happening do? to my face? But they're fun. But it's like I'm but you over don't it. like the you back and end my, of... you and Mandy can we get can out totally of it. do face masks. Yeah, I'm out of that club. In fact, I just got another one. Okay, well y'all get at it, and I'll take <laughs> pictures and I'll participate and bring some wine. But I am not. Do- she participating. has a whole catalog of face She's mask a pictures. Freak. She literally could be on Pinterest with all her face masks. She was actually totally disappointed that we forgot to take a picture of this sh- the the last one. She's like. <gasps> Oh my God, I forgot to take a picture of it. I'm like, it's okay. You've got 47 that's still in the cabinet. You, you have left to do so. But after we did this face mask, we're laying in bed and uh, I was like, okay, well, I, I love you. I hope, you know, we talked in the bed. It was wonderful. She slept with me. Oh, I just, it was wonderful time to spend with her. But at the, you know, she was like, well, good night. I love you. I said, good night. And, and I said, uh, well, just say your prayers for me. And uh, she goes, Okay, I pray for you every night. And I said, well, I don't pray for you every night. <laughs> and I, I didn't mean it like I didn't. I said, like, when I actively am praying for people in general, like, like naming people, I said, I pray for you then. But, like, to say that I actively pray for you every night, that would be a lie. So, do you really pray for... She's like, no, Leanne, I really do pray for you every night. And I'm like... <gasps> Now I feel two inches tall. I am like horrible <laughs> sister. And so I'm like really trying to make it an effort. Well, but I think I think because I just threw know, it into the general pile, but I feel like she's important enough that yeah, she, she should could have, be in the special pile. Right. The, in the immediate name. circle pile. Yeah. Correct. Of like but you deserve a name. Also, you could also look at it. I'm going to wrap a bow around this. Thanks. I need it. Because that. even though it might not be daily, when it is, it's like extra strong. So it might be like enough. Instead of like taking a vitamin every day, you, when you pray, it's like getting a B12 shot. Yeah. I like that analogy. So. Yeah, that's true. Like maybe you're like, you when you pray, it's like getting a going to the doctor and getting the real stuff rather than taking, Hmm. you know, not to say that her prayers aren't real. They are. (laughs) I'm just saying, I'm trying to help you out here. There you go. (laughs) See, Mandy, you're just a boost. You're you're like a vitamin boost. You get, you get, you get all, yeah, you get, you get all the, yeah, all of the juice. It's like having a special shout out. Yeah. To Okay. Yeah. All right, I can work with that. Yeah. I don't feel as bad. No, it's just you just do it different. Like some people do it daily, and then you do it like all at once. Like you go big or go home. You know, like yeah. So yeah, because I mean, I just want. I mean, I just I want everybody to like. I, I'm I'm gonna throw this out there because I'm just anxious. I'm I'm okay, I'm nervous right now. What are you about to throw <laughs> no, out there? No, <laughs> because <laughs> well, it's just I I wonder if how in tune you are. I think that people are more in tune with the special people in their life than what sometimes we give credit for. Because 
Like, um, a few weeks ago, I was just having a really rough, rough week. And, um, and she could feel that. And so, I mean, she, and, and after, after a few weeks, she was, I mean, after that week, she was just was like worn out. And she called me on a, I think it was on her way home on a Friday and she was just, you know, really worn down. But I knew what it was, is she was she was praying, like she was really being consciously there for me, emo- like spiritually and emotionally, without even realizing. Realiz- realizing it. And I'm like, Mandy, you're totally, you need to release me because you're carrying all of my baggage, like that. I'm, but I, I'm it not going to lie. Her down, yeah. It really was, but she like, I needed her to do that. So why I'm bringing that up is because. Uh, just you know maybe become aware and think about are you doing that with someone else mm-hmm. like or are they doing that for you is somebody else carrying your the weight your weight for for a week i know that michelle does it for me on a regular basis too um but but i don't know this was just so I, i'm really i, I don't I, i'm so grateful for that too but well, yeah. i had to remind her hey give me my stuff back this doesn't belong to you um, because well, it was that's so important because I mean she that goes back to clearing and protecting your energy correct because not it's important that she cares for you that much but also in finding a way to do that without depleting your correct energy. She, she was letting my burdens become her right own. she hadn't protected herself before she took correct on like in in prayer for you correct so it's really important to surround yourself in protection so that you can help others but you don't absorb it. Right. Right. And I think, you know, that's, we're talking about common themes. Mm -hmm. And yesterday was a common theme in my chair with protecting yourself, protecting your energy Hmm. and anxiety. And it ran the gamut from a child to an adult to um, actually a grown man, like a young adult Mm -hmm. and grown man. Like, Interesting. All protecting energy. And um, and it made me realize how many people don't realize that they might be absorbing other people's energy mm-hmm. because they don't see it that way. So if you say empath, they're like, yeah, no, I'm not an empath. Right. But anxiety that you cannot put a name on, that you know, like, I don't, I, I don't really have anything I'm worried about. That's not yours. Right. You absorbed it somewhere. And so children that are anxious, adults anxious, you're absorbing energy that is not yours. And so it's really, really important to do that visualization. And I just call it like a, um, it's kind of like using um, imagery as a prayer. Mm-hmm. Like instead of saying a prayer, like you put yourself in white light. And if you can do that every day for a week, like I'm going to challenge everybody for a week, every day before you get up or once you get in your car, put yourself in white light. And for some people, it might be you're in a, a, a white room by yourself, or it could be you're standing in the sunshine, or it could be a cup of light or a spotlight or whatever it is that you need to visualize. And you may have trouble visualizing it at first, but don't give up. And see if it changes your day. Because I can assure you, it it makes a difference. Oh, I, yes. You saw me yesterday. You were like, you had time to like put yourself in my oh, life yeah. all your, throughout your the day. Whole, your whole aura was completely because different. at the end of the day, I was still like the same as I was at the beginning of the day. Yeah, but it was, it was you could tell it was visually different. You know, yeah, it really was. But, but I took the time in between each client and, mm-hmm. and re- yeah. Re put myself in white light or whatever you whatever the correct terminology is, I did that. Well, I can understand that. And you know what? Is is frequently that's something I use frequently for myself, but I will say the other day in um in yoga we had to we like opened ourselves up and in, in like a meditative state, which is like usually spirits cue to okay, let's talk. <laughs> and uh, when we were finished, I should have immediately like Put put my umbrella up and locked everything down, and I didn't. And can I tell you, it was like, woo! I felt like it was uh, 
wow, I can't even describe. It's it like, was, blah, 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 yeah, blah. yeah. Like every, I just wanted to fly out the room and oh my goodness, let me out of here. And, and it was so not anything. It wasn't bad. It was just a no. lot of stuff that was floating around. I'm like, I need to escape. <laughs> let me out. Let me out. And uh, it didn't take but a minute, but, uh, but yeah. I had to like, oh, okay. Note to self. Right. <laughs> Before you get up. <laughs> exactly. Make sure, yeah, throw that umbrella up. But, I mean, it's very easy to um, to forget into the last minute. Oh, absolutely. So. And I still do it every day, but so there are days where I forget. But I'm trying to do things on purpose now. And so I'm trying to do it. I do it, you know, every day, whether I'm coming to work or I'm still at home. When I leave work to go home, I do it again. Before I go into my house. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's making for more peaceful transitions and more peaceful interaction. And I really feel like kids who have anxiety, that might be a great way to help them soothe their anxiety. It gives them just a visual aid and gives them a little control over the situation. Yeah, because especially nowadays, uh, there's a lot to be anxious. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Tough being a kid in this world. Absolutely. That was a lot. I know. I hope I hope Mary holds your hips. Yes. Well, me too. I'm I'm very <laughs> anxious. You know, that is one thing that I do need help with is is like grounding cuz I have no padding on the bottom of my feet. Maybe you need to put some Velcro on little I'm Velcro I'm thinking strips. if I could get like a transplant of like, I don't know, some fat from my thigh <laughs> and put at the bottom of my foot or my feet, that would be great. Like a, like a, just a re-transplant because my dad, my dad, I get it from him because we have no, it's like, I have no soul. He's like, you have no soul. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Soul. S-O-L-E. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's like, that, or he says, yeah, you know, he says, oh, you have, uh, when someone has big feet, and he's like, oh, you've got a good understanding. <laughs> well, so. I, okay, I have never heard that term ever. Really? Yeah, you just schooled me on a new what? phrase. See, circle your wagons around uh-huh. that. Mm-hmm. How you like that? Well, you brought that back, didn't you? Yes, I did. Full circle, no pun intended. <laughs> but, no, so I have no padding on the bottom of my feet, too. Like, I do need help grounding, so I'm really going to call on. You know. I think you're going to be surprised tonight. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to ask for two more spirit guides to come forward, and maybe they can each hold a chakra. How about that? I'll really throw y'all, throw yeah, them all. You will be like master yoga. <laughs> no, far from that. Far no, you know from, what but, I'm but saying. Yeah, but yeah, I wouldn't mind a better understanding or, or better ground connection with my bony feet. So, Hey. They're going to come in handy. You just wait. Oh, well, I hope they've already, they pretty much come in handy every day. I'll give you that. Uh, I will give you that. But um, I actually bled yesterday for the first time. I was practicing outside and I got really <laughs> terrified. <laughs> well, yeah, you practice yoga. Well, yeah, you got to do it barefoot. Yeah. Today. So um, I was practicing and <laughs> next thing I was really getting into it. Next thing I know, my toe is bleeding. <laughs> So I kind of had a moment. There's no I'm, crying in yoga. <laughs> there should be no bleeding either. I'm quite sure. So I'm looking at my foot. I'm like, wow, this is intense. <laughs> but you know, it's all good. But I am. I'm so excited to uh, to share the names of my my guides with everybody. I'm. I'm I, it's very like exciting. Introducing for me. your family. It is. It is. I'm. I'm hoping that you know everybody comes forward. But I guess I need a. I need it. That's like, what you needed to know now. Right. I mean, like, Ralph, he's the spiritual one. Like, we're obviously, they're all spiritual, <laughs> for sure. But he's the one who's, like, more on the formalities of, like, how the structure is. And then we've got Peter, and he's, like, more into personal relationships. And he's kind of like my, my, um, my spiritual voice of reason, like, with how to communicate with others. And then we've got Mary, and she's like the feminine aspect, and she's like she is helps me with like really emotional things, and and even working with others that so are. She's emotional. busy. Mary's Poor got a lot Mary. on her plate. She's got a lot on her plate. Yeah, she really does, and um, you know, yeah, she's a hard working lady. She, I'll give her that. Yeah, she's really, she's she really is. Yeah. She's and she's got to work with these other three dudes, you know. Mm-hmm. Like so, there's that. Right. And then we've got John, and John's like, he's 
He's like really chill, but he's the one who's like. I think he's like got your back or. Oh, he totally. I mean, they all have my back. You know that, yeah. But he's like, yeah, that's cool. (laughs) Or no, that ain't cool. You probably shouldn't do that, Leanne. Or nah, you should probably not walk down that aisle. I mean, that that alleyway, you know, alone. Like, nah, come roll yourself back. Or, you know, he's just like laid back. I, I don't know. So they're all very different, and but they all like together ground me, or and so it's very. Well, I hope they show up tonight. And oh help well, they're they're already. You know. Well, they're there, but now oh, you... oh at yoga. Oh yeah, yes. at yoga. Oh yes, I'm gonna give y'all a full report. Yeah, uh, Mary's got know. the hips. Ralph got has my ankles. Peter, he'll keep my, my back straight. And John will be there rooting me. Like, like you can do this. You got this, girl. You got this. <laughs> so, it's all good. <laughs> So, well, until next week, I hope you enjoyed. Have a Uh, wonderful week. You too, (laughs) ma'am. Bye. You've been listening to the Spiritual Highways Podcast with Leanne and Michelle. Catch up on past episodes at spiritualhighways.com, on iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, and more. 